turn my thing on. What time is it? Oh, it's 7.04. Oh, live chat. Where is Nancy Stamps? Hello. Oh, there she is. Turn the volume down. Make sure we have it on live chat. And wait for all of our friends. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stamp some things out while I'm waiting. <gasps> Hi guys! <laughs> you like that, Melissa? I learned that from Simon Hurley. I learn a lot of things from that guy. He is very bright. Hello, Cheryl. Hi, Chris. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Sandy. Hi, T. Hi, Stacy. Stacy, did you get your prize yet? Hello, Susan. Okay, good. I'm glad. Thank you. Where's my... Oh, I guess I don't need one. Oh, they won't run out, Belinda. They won't. They won't run out. And good luck on your surgery. Hi, Lori from Minnesota. Oh, you know what? I got to get some embossing powder to go with this. I have. This embossing powder will look really good with this. Yes. Hi, how's everybody doing? Are you here to win free stuff? <laughs> Should I say is that one one of your reasons for hanging out because I will give you instructions on how you will have a chance to win these four ink pads and their reinkers from Catherine Pooler. Because she's amazing like that. Please don't look at my mess of stuff behind me. I have like design team projects all over the place. Half the stuff you're not supposed to see yet. So if you see something, shh. Belinda says, not her reason for hanging out. Well, good, 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 good. All right. So, hi, everybody. How are you? I want to say, if you're going to the stamp show, um, it's in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We are about a little over an hour outside of Philadelphia. We are an hour and a half from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We are three and a half hours from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, Tracy is on her way tomorrow afternoon. And we will both be at the show Friday and Saturday. Tracy will be working in the Technique Junkies booth, I believe, on Friday. So make sure you stop in and take a picture with her. Um, and I will be wandering around helping wherever I can help. But um, we will have our FSC logo shirts on. So that's how you'll know that it's us. So I just wanted to remind you <laughs> of who, what I look like. So please don't be shy. Please come up to me and tell me who you are and where you're from. 
I look forward to meeting you guys. I meet new people every year. Um, but today's live is about... Ooh, Donna's going Friday morning! Yay! Yes, I went yellow. It's super bright, but she put little... They're kind of like daisies, I guess. I let my... I let her have artistic freedom, right? So they're little like daisies she put on there. Come on, focus. There we go. And so she put little bling blings and things on there. Yes. Yep. Um, normally I do film in a couple of the booths and put it up so you guys can see what they have. Also, when we get home, I do a unboxing because a lot of times there are coupons from the show. So if you go online and order, there's a coupon code I can give you. So yes, um, I know my craft room will be there. Technique Junkies, Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. Um, I believe the ton is going to be there. Um, um, who else? Stamps by Judith. I'm trying to think of the other companies. I think Anthony Paper Crafts is going to be there. So quite a few companies um, will be there. And, you know, I got my little shopping list of things I need to get. So, uh, oh, I know that, uh, who do we just have for Stamp Wars? Um, Art Gone Wild is going to be there. Darcy's Heart and Home is going to be there. I believe Stampers Anonymous is going to be there. So um, quite a few companies will be there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get my shopping on. <laughs> yes, I'm hoping, and Tracy and I are super excited. I did, I charged up the little, the little mount. So I'm hoping that while Tracy is in the Technique Junkies booth that she does some um demoing and I can like set it up and film it and get it up there live for you guys so I have this all charged up it's ready to go um so yeah we are looking forward to it hi Jim all right I'm gonna go hands down I'm gonna show you these new inks um I did do a little sneak peek on our Facebook group the foiling snobs club I was swatching out my ink, so before I go anywhere else, let me tell you what this is about. So on Catherine Pooler's website, she has free downloads, so you go to, Kath, I'm gonna put the link, you have to use my link for it to count, so hold on. It's completely free, it does not count you, cost you anything, okay? But you're gonna go to shop, and when you click shop, there's gonna be a um, listing that comes down, a drop down menu, and you're gonna go to downloads. And when you go to downloads, there's, there's two that I want you to click on. One is the um, color wheels, which I'm gonna show you. So when you print this out, you wanna print it with your color printer. And I printed mine on 60 pound hammer mill because I want it on good paper. And when you print it out, this is how it's going to print out. You're gonna get a party collection you're going to get a spa collection, and then you're going to get the two center wheels, okay? Now, if you've already done this before, you really only need this, the new spa collection. To know if you have the new party collection or not, you're going to look for glitz on the outside here because the new Lux collection was just released not too long ago, and they were party inks. So if you have that, then you don't really need a new party collection, but you do need a new spa collection because it has these new inks on here. And then you just cut out this wheel and you use a little brad and you take the brad and it will tell you then what are complementary colors, tertiary colors, and so on. So if you have a difficult time figuring out, well, what goes with what, this will kind of help guide you with that. So then you will have a spa collection and a party collection. And like I said, it has two, the two center circles are separate, okay? Yeah, laminating it is a good idea. However, <laughs> Catherine did tell us in the live today, this is only part one of the Apothecary series. So there are four more inks coming sometime this summer, all right? The other thing you can download for those of you that are um, starting to collect your Catherine Pooler inks, 
is the ink swatch guide. Now I printed this on my laser printer because it's six pages. If you've already printed this, you really only need to print the last page, I believe. I don't have them in the correct order. Let me put them in the correct order. Okay, so I went through and if you want to know what I did to swatch them out, I did them live on Facebook today, but I used the, the Flight of the Dragonfly. I just took this solid circle and I went through and I swatched out my inks by collections. Now, so you have the party collection there and the party collection are much brighter um here's spring fling which are more like your spring pastel colors easter colors carnival date night this is my favorite collection um uh, lux which is the new collection which was just released which are more like gem tones hi melanie and then spa collection are your more muted tones so spa collections have a little bit of a gray undertone they're more kind of like earth tones i think they're more masculine in color so here is your Paradise Found Spa Collection, Zen Garden. And most of these are in minis. Date Nights was just dropped in minis. So the ones that don't have minis um, are like the Lux Collection. It usually takes a year. From the time the ink pads come out, they come out in full size. And then it will go to minis. Oh, Melanie got the phone holder. So Lynn had a great question. When can you order these? So these will come out next Wednesday, April 6th, 2022. If you are not a Stamp Nation member, if you are a Stamp Nation member, you get them the day before, which is Tuesday, April 5th. Now, you're asking, what is Stamp Nation? Stamp Nation is an exclusive club for Catherine Pooler members. And what it does is it gets you a day ahead of time on new releases but there are also um, stamp sets that they have that are specifically only for stamp nation members you get backdoor access to special facebook um, events like they just did a bingo event and it was only to stamp nation members so it's kind of behind the scenes special vip access for katherine pooler members there is an annual fee for that um i i think you can break that down and pay it like three months six months i'm not sure um, but you can definitely find out more information about that. Um, so that Stamp Nation members are always a day ahead of time. So they will be Tuesday, April 5th. For everybody else, it will be Wednesday, April 6th. Okay. Um, all right. So then we have Urban Oasis from the Spa Collection, Beach Retreat. And here are the new colors. So if you already have the swatch, you only need to print the last page, which is the new Apothecary inks. And notice there's four. So she said four more will come later this summer. And then your neutral colors are here. Okay. Um, Stacy, I'm not sure. I think so, but I'm not sure. Um, you'll have to go to the website. I'm not actually a Stamp Nation member. Um, only because I just have so many other obligations right now. That, that's just not, not on my list right now, but maybe in the future. So the two things you want to download, and you're going to use that, that link. I'll put it up there for you guys again. is um, the swatch, ink swatch chart, if you don't have that. And then again, that's six pages. And then the new color wheel. So the new color wheel is three pages. You'll have a spa collection wheel, a party collection wheel, and then the centers, okay? This is very important because part of the giveaway is I'm gonna wanna know that you did it. So yes, I said giveaway. So let me go hands down and tell you what, you know, how awesome these inks are and what you could possibly win. Let me bring them all in here for you guys. Here we go. Hands down. All right. Oh, Melissa, be safe, please. All right, so earlier on my Facebook Live, I did swatch these out. And um, let me show you the four new colors. So again, they're called the Apothecary Collection. They are spa collection. So that means they're gonna be a little bit more muted. And I think these are great for fall cards. Now I'm thinking sunset. I'm thinking very earthy, muted. 
Um, people were saying red rocks, you know, so yes, all of that, yes. So the first one I have here is winter green, which is this guy here. The new colors I put a star next to. And that goes on the color wheel, and I pulled these right off of the color wheel so you can see it. Right here. It is a green blue color. And so I have winter green, sea foam, sea glass, and bay breeze. So if you are doing ombre stamping, if you are doing layered stamping, you know, I love my kitchen sink stamps. It is nice to have stamps that, number one, stamp beautifully the first time, have a nice spongy ink pad. Um, they're a dye ink, so they dye into the paper. There are re-inkers available. If you want to start with the minis, you're not losing anything. I don't have the minis in front of me, but the minis are a little longer than your typical uh, ink box size. Um, you don't lose any of the quality in the ink pad or the ink if you decide to go with minis. So there is no shame in going with minis. They are a little bit cheaper. You're going to get the exact same quality stamp pad and the same quality ink, and you're going to have more space for storage. So there is no shame. I started out as minis and then switched over to full size. Obviously, being on the design team, there's advantages for me there. Um, but no shame if you want to go with the minis. They travel better um, and so on. And it's just a good way to start out your collection. So this is the winter green. So that's that one. And then over here, I swatched out. We have ginger, mandarin spice, orange peel, and apricot. And ginger and apricot are the two new colors on this swatch and I just think these I just can't wait for fall now like these are the perfect colors for fall so you have ginger mandarin spice orange peel and apricot ginger and apricot are the two new colors hi Frida yep so you get that and then on the back side here I did terracotta now terracotta she says goes well with polished and clay mask so I stamped those out, and I really think the clay mask and the apricot would be really nice colors. If you color um, skin tones, they're nice to have kind of a mid-tone skin tone. So you have that um, clay mask and the apricot for that. The terracotta is a beautiful dark, almost like a brick, a brick color. Okay, so it's perfect for that. So those are the four new colors swatched out. And again, in order for you to win them, how you will win them is after my live is over, when we are done hanging out, you will need to download the new uh, color wheel. After you download it, you're gonna come back to my video and you're gonna tell me, done, downloaded it, and I wanna comment on your favorite color combination. Whether you have Catherine Puller inks or not, I wanna know when you look at that, hi, Cynthia, um, you know, which color combinations you like. So for example, I know that Tracy loves the Date Night collection and she loves doing um, Pucker Up, Cumberbund, and what's the name of the yellow? Uh, Catching Ray. So almost all of Tracy's cards, when she when she does a combo, she does Pucker Up, Catching Rays, and um, Cumberbund. So I know that would be Tracy's comment would be, downloaded the color wheel, my favorite color combo is. So after we are done, Yep, if you downloaded a few minutes ago, that's okay. So after you're done, you wanna comment, yes, I downloaded the color wheel and these are my favorite color combo. And I don't think we're going to pick a winner until probably after they're released next week. I'm not sure Catherine Pooler is gonna be doing all of that. Um, but I wanted to show these inks off. I wanted to stamp with them and show you how beautiful they are. And if you're not familiar with Catherine Pooler inks, maybe these aren't your first choice of colors, Start with three or four colors, and again, they have mini options, so you can buy the minis in a collection of eight, or you can start off with the minis with the, these four colors here. That's what I started out with. That's what I recommend everybody start out with. If you're new to Catherine Puller inks, buy this set of minis. It's inexpensive. You're not going to need the re-inkers immediately right away and try them out. If you like spongy ink pads, you're going to love them. They are water reactive. They stamp beautifully on crisp images or solid images. They do blending beautifully. You can color with them with a Tombow uh, marker. 
Um, there's so many different techniques you can do with them. So that's what I like about them is they are a great all-in-one ink for me. Start with these. If you fall in love with them like I did, then you can continue to add your minis. Like Audrey just said, CP inks are amazing. I'm still building my collection and cannot wait to get the full set. Um, start with these. And if you like them, you can continue to buy more minis or you can eventually switch to the full size. Now, anytime there's a new ink release, it's always in full size. I agree with you, Stacy. I love spongy pads too. Yep. They're really good inks. They're dye based, which means they dye your paper. They go into your paper, so they dry very quickly. And I want you to notice how all of these look like they're perfectly stamped, how even they are. That's the ink, okay? It's not Nancy's a very good stamper. No, 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 no. This ink evens itself out when it's once it's dry. So when you're stamping it, it always looks kind of blotchy and you have some, some spots that are darker and lighter, but I want you guys to look at my swatch, go back later and watch my Facebook Live, and you'll notice that as I was stamping these, they all look splotchy. Do you see any miss spots of ink? No, you know why? Because they are a spongy ink pad, and you don't see any splotchiness. It's all evened out, it looks amazing, and my, my iPad's not even picking up like the quality of the colors here, the tones that you get with the colors. Um, I only had to stamp all these once. I never had to go back in and stamp them twice. So you get full coverage the first time. And it doesn't matter if you're using um, photopolymer stamps or you're using red rubber stamps. They just, they look great. So I love them. If I if I was told you can only use one inks for the rest of your life, these would be it. I love my Catherine Pool or my uh, Stampin' Up inks because Catherine Pooler started out as a Stampin' Up demonstrator, but she changed the ink pads. So the Stampin' Up ink pads are similar that they're spongy, but if they're hard to open and so these are a little tougher to open. They're a little bit bigger, and you can't put a, a magnetic handle on the back of this to hold it. So you really need to hold it with your hand, which means more opportunity to drop the ink pad, which I don't like. So um, I do like having the metal pad on the back of mine. Now I need to buy some, some more of those, but let me show you what I mean by that. So you can get these off of Amazon. They're in my Amazon shop and you get this handle. It's like six bucks from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. This is the universal handle and it fits perfectly on the back of that pad. So now if you have dexterity issues, these lids come off fairly easily. You can hold them. They're very light. They have a nice little thick grip here. It's not super thin. Your ink pad comes up super high so that way you can ink on your pad. Um, so yeah, I just everything about these inks is just wonderful. Um, so if you have dexterity, you can get a, a pad like that. If not, you can just hold on to these. And I do recommend re-inkers if you fall in love with a color because there are many different things you can do with the re-inkers. You can use the re-inkers for splattering. You can use the re-inkers for watercoloring. You can use um, re-inkers for um, smoosh techniques. So there's a lot of different things you can do with re-inkers as well. And because these are spongy pads, you reach for them. They're very easy to use. You will find yourself re-inking them more and more because one of the techniques is what we did here, which is a direct to paper technique where you take the ink pad and you match your paper to your stamped image. You don't have to buy 50 colors of paper. You have the ink pads. You're going to use these ink pads. And what better a supply than something you reach for every single time? Just like you use the same scissors or your trimmer. You know, there are certain supplies that we have that we reach for every time. That's what these inks do for you. Okay. All right, so yes, everybody please be safe with this bad weather coming through. So I'm gonna just play around, do some um, things here. I'm bringing in the new background. Isn't this background so cute? So this was just released. This is called Flower Power Background. And I just wanna show you. Okay. 
Yes, Lynn, I'll get my Amazon link up there for you. I don't know if, if Chow is available, she can grab it. If not, Chow, I'll do it. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to start with Ginger. Look at her. She's so fast. And then I'm going to go halfway down the stamp into terracotta. I'm going to go lightest to darkest. And I thought I had some paper cut. <gasps> Did I not cut paper? Where's my paper? Is this my paper? I think this is my paper. Oops, I rubbed that the wrong way. Now, we're gonna use some work paper. Nobody needs to know. I know, Chow's amazing. Aw, look at T, she's amazing too. I love you guys. Oh, Kyle's taking a nap, so I gotta be quiet. All right, so now it's kind of hard to see. That's why I blubbed it. That's okay, we'll fix it. But as this dries back, you'll see the difference between the um, ginger and the terracotta. So up here is the ginger, down here is the terracotta. I'm gonna set this aside and let it even itself out, and then you'll see the delineation between the two colors. But isn't that, oh, it's just pretty. So while we're waiting for that to dry, clean this up and move it out of the way. Yes, earth tones, yep. I like them too. All right, so we're gonna move that out of the way. And then remember what I said about doing the, um, the background? That's all you do. Now I have matching cardstock. Okay. But wait, maybe you're like T and you're like, mm, I don't want it to look that way. I want to grunge it up a little bit. Then we can, they're water reactive, so we can spritz a little bit of water on there and give them some of that, um, oops, what do you call that? We call that effect. T, help me out here. Yeah, these don't go on sale until next week. So because they're water water reactive, you get that water drop effect. There we go. Bleaching, Cheryl says. So you can do that. So now I've colored my background paper. I've got the water effect on there. I've got a big, beautiful stamp that I'm going to cut down and put on there. So now I just need a sentiment. Everything's matchy-matchy, which we love. And I'm going to do my sentiment in, actually, I, I wanted to heat emboss my sentiment. So I'm going to bring in golden flame. Gold on flame. So these will not go on sale until next week. Yep, and this is the link you're going to want to save. And I'm going to use ginger for my base coat on that. Limoncello, Jim Eber says, would match my nails. I think you're right. Pretty close. And I want to have this ready, this ready, this ready. Melissa made some backgrounds today by using 16 candles, minted and oh boy. Another one who loves... CP ink. So this is the new Rabbit Hole Designs powder tool. They also have this at Catherine Pooler. And this is a glittery um, embossing powder. So I do want a colored ink underneath it. And I'm going to be fairly quick about doing this. I think my ink is juicy enough. Because this ink is a dye ink. So it tends to go right into the paper and dry immediately. I, I was going to say I missed the E there. Well, you know what happens? When in doubt, do it again. Let me clean my stamp. 
I want it to be perfect. And there's, there's gobbly goo on my stamp. Now, these are not the ideal inks to do embossing, but if you are quick enough, you can get to the embossing part. So I'm gonna do this again. We're gonna flip this over because that's what the back of the paper is for, Nancy's Mistakes. It's not a sale on the inks. They're brand new inks that are just released. These are brand new colors. Now, I think you, if you buy the bundle where you get the ink pads and the refills, there's a slight discount for doing it that way. I'm just going to put a piece of foam under here. Hi, Diana. Some juicy, juicy colors. That E doesn't want to stamp right. I can see. I think my stamp's got something in it. Eh, close enough. All right, now we got some glitter on there. Oh, my gosh. That's going to look good. gosh. So whenever you're using a glitter embossing powder, I like to put some kind of a color underneath it because the glitter is so chunky, it doesn't always get into all of the little nooks and crannies where your ink does. So by stamping it in a colored ink first and then embossing it, you get a camouflage of any missed spots of the embossing powder. But that embossing powder goes with that perfectly. All right, now we're going to die cut this. Let me clean my stamp. going for a sort of a monotone kind of look here. Yep, she's got WOW embossing powders. She's got the WOW um, embossing pad, which I admitted, I admitted on another live that um, that pad is a little stickier, I think, than my Versamark ink pad. Um, so, yes, this is very nice. This is the Greetings Cheerful Greetings stamp set. These are in the shop already. You have warm greetings, good friend, greetings to you, sending birthday greetings, um, holiday greetings, uh, cheerful greetings, you and yours. So a lot of fun little sentiments there. And then I did get the coordinating uh, outline dies, which go around the two big greetings. So we're going to cut this guy out. So Catherine is going to give away to one of my viewers the ink pads and the reinkers. And all you need to do to qualify is use my link to download the color wheel, the brand new color wheel. It is completely free for you to go and download it. And then come back to this video later and comment that you downloaded it and what your favorite color combo is. I 
know many of you took advantage of the sale last week. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. You don't need to do much with this. These colors, they're, and these, you know what I like? These are not colors that you normally see. You always see, you know, pink, purple, gray, navy. But to see a color like this or like this, you don't see these colors too often. Not too many artists venture into that. They want to stay kind of, you know what's in you know what's normal let's stay in the box so I like that Catherine thinks outside the box and gives us colors that you don't see too often okay let me put this away hi Michelle how is the weather there The butterfly is unfortunately discontinued. Yes, the one I showed the other day. Yeah, I can't get it. I'm sorry. I should have never shown it. All right, so we're going to cut this down. Diana says, I need those colors in my life. Well, Diana, if you are a Stamp Nation member, you can purchase them next Tuesday. And if you're not a Stamp Nation member, then you got to wait until Wednesday. Next Wednesday. It's not too far away. So I'm going to cut this down to five and a quarter by four. Cut off some of my messy boo boos. Oh, Stacy, you are in the right group if you want to know about scanning cuts. We are a scan and cut enabling group. <laughs> T said they all do. Yep, our Stacy has the scan and cut videos. T likes to fussy cut. She's weird. <laughs> hate fussy cutting oh no I shouldn't have said that T is in charge of stamp wars next month oh no all right now I know my lighting is a little off can you see here where it goes from ginger to terracotta right here so from here on up it's orangey and then down here it's that burnt brick you see it okay thanks where are you going with your hand thing? I, I, I don't. You want to say hi to the friends? Hi. Hi. I want to take my hand. Okay. Hi. Why don't you show them your nails? <laughs> <laughs> Salon de Presson. All right. So now I have my matching mat, my matching background. Oh, my God. That looks really cool. You like that? Wait, what and that? now I have Greetings. a glitter. Greetings. Greetings. And you know what else? I'm gonna I'm gonna add to this. I'm what not, happened to the back? Well, I didn't like the like it, so I did it again. <laughs> Don't when you like it, if teacher gave you a test and you didn't like your grade and you flipped it over and you could do it over again, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Okay, so I have those little banner dies. Let's use those. Let's use the banner dies. Let me grab those. I love the banner dies. Um, so Stacy, we recommend if you can find one used like, um, uh, Facebook marketplace or eBay or something like that. Let me find my little, Leah messed up all my stuff. You guys, I don't like her touching my stuff. I didn't touch you. <laughs> I wasn't over there today. Yeah, uh -huh. you did a live with me last week. That was last week. Yes, Leah got diva nails. And you put everything so these are sentiment banner dies, and I like these because they have stitching around them. Look at that. Uh, Abraham, 
You gotta send me a label for your chocolates. I am on a diet. They are not going to last long. I will eat them. <laughs> He's still working. Yuck, who does that? It's because he was out partying all weekend. Party. Okay. Now. Oh, that's cool. You like that? Yeah. I, like I don't cool. like you coming over here like poaching. I, I don't know what you're up to, but back up. I'm looking at your stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Poaching. Back up. Do you know what that means? No. It's like, ooh, what? It's like when you go through mommy's makeup, like, ooh, what in here can I touch? What can I use? That's what you're doing. Ooh, I wonder if I have sequins to match. I don't think I... Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, the uh, Australian candy bars, the purple wrapper ones are called... Crunch something? Violent Crunch or something like that. Yeah, Leah has a whole box of chocolates here with Abraham's name on them. Abraham has to send us a label so I can get them out to him. Okay, now we add this. No, you cannot. I need a sketch. No, you cannot. And I'm going to agree with Abraham. That's got to be popped up. So. <gasps> You're going to go eat ice cream? You're like the worst kid ever. Did you hear her? She said, bye. You're on a diet. Wow. Don't worry. I'll get my snack apple later. Abraham can't hang with the kids no more. Were you in bed before 3 a.m., Abraham? fun is that? Now I gotta find sequins. If I have sequins somewhere, I'll put sequins on here to match that. <coughs> oh, bless me. So, you guys have seen the new color swatch. You've seen the new um, wheel, the color wheel, and then again, you have to download the color wheel. Use my CP link to get to it. When you get there, let me show you guys where it's at. So when you get there, you're going to go to shop. And then you're going to go to shop again. <laughs> and you're going to go to free downloads. And there they are. The first one is the one you want to download. You would add that to cart. You would add ink swatch to cart. She also has... We're in this together, free download. If you have a laser printer, you can foil this. That would that came out back when we were going through COVID. Um, spreading rainbows download. So these are free downloads that you can download. Print them with your laser printer, and then you guys can foil them. Um, 
here's a color combination guide. So there's a lot of free things you can download, but the one that I'd like to see you guys download is the new color wheel. Then you're gonna go back to my video when we're done here and you're gonna put in the comments, I downloaded the color wheel and tell me what your favorite color combinations are. So I've only made one really little quick card here, just using a couple of things. Um, we use the new floral background, flower power background, the greetings, cheerful greetings, stamps and dies, and the steel craft sentiment banner dies. So I just used these three and the new inks. And of course, a little bit of embossing powder to give us that blink. And I keep moving the light because of the glare, but... Isn't it pretty? And you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but from here to here, it's ginger. And then from here down, it's terracotta. That's a brand new color wheel today, Abraham, because we have brand new colors re revealed today that will be released next week. So we have terracotta, ginger, which I use both of those in the card, and then we have wintergreen and apricot. All right, now let's move these things out of the way and let's do something with, let's do something with these colors. So these are gonna be available next week if you're a Stamp Nation member, you get access to them on Tuesday. If you are a regular, not Stamp Nation member, they will be available on Wednesday. So let's play with winter green, sea foam, sea glass, and bay breeze. These are all on the color wheel next to each other. Winter green is the new color. She is doing good on skating. She ran away. She said she was going to go get ice cream. She is doing very well with skating. I also like that the new reinkers, you guys, have the colors on them. So the old ones didn't. So now you can double, triple check your colors before you ink them so that you know. Hey, am I buying the right reinker? And normally there is a bundle available, and if you do the bundle and you buy all four colors with the reinkers, there's a small discount versus buying them all separately. So I showed you guys how to go direct to paper. I showed you guys how they how well they do with fine line stamping, as you can see here with the birthday, how they do with solid stamping, as it did with the greetings. We did background stamping. I showed you that they were water reactive. Um, you can also do, like I said, ink smushing. And one of the other things that you can do is color them with a Tombow marker. Um, so a lot of different things you can do with these inks. They are great for blending. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. I knew I had a point to what I was saying is I'm going to do some blending and I'm going to start with winter green I'm trying to stay in frame for you guys here and color and cover that glare from the camera there we go Oh, I should really be using my blending mat. You know who's the best at blending? Tracy. She does an amazing job with blending. The secret to blending is, number one, you have to have ultra smooth paper, which I'm using Hammer Mill. Also, Catherine Pooler, I think, is exactly the same. I'm not positive of that. I don't have any kind of scientific proof. But based on the way that I have been smelling the paper stamping on the paper, touching the paper. It's pretty darn close, you guys. Um, and you want to have a juicy ink pad and you just want to take your time and blend your way up. Okay. 
Ooh, that looks pretty right there like that. It's almost a jade color. It's very, very pretty. I just want to, I want to paint my kitchen this color now. <laughs> okay, so that's winter green. We're going to go on with the next darkest color, which is sea foam. Oh, it's a little darker. Got a blendy blendy here. I did not do a good job with picking up my ink on that one. Now, it always looks like a hot mess when you are in the middle of blending. Remember what I said about Catherine Pooler inks. They dry back and they even themselves out. So do not panic. This will look better once it starts to set into the paper and it dries. It will even itself out. That looks like a cool, like, marbled look, though. Just need some gold foil veins in there. Oh. I really do get this excited about card making, you guys. You can ask my friends. Like yesterday, you guys, I made these paper roses. Video coming up and I was like, oh, look what I made. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave that one alone. That's sea foam. I'm gonna go back to winter green and kind of blend on my line there. Just smooth that out a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna go to sea glass. I'm using the same, um, same brush. I'm just going from lightest to darkest. How often do I re-ink? Well, that depends. I, I had mentioned that earlier in my live is, you know, you wanna check your ink pads every few months or so, especially for colors that you don't use very often. And if you feel like it's very dry and that ink is not coming out of that ink pad and you're getting splotchy inking when you uh, go direct to paper where you're stamping with it, then you probably should re-ink. And when you re-ink, if you can see like how the ink is absorbed into the ink pad if you have ink oozing out the sides you have way too much ink so ink gets suspended in the ink pad and it just kind of sits in there I do like to store my ink pads flat it scares me if I store them sideways because I'm afraid that they're going to leak out um, but I think normally unless they're over inked they do not leak normally um, unless you over ink them so if you feel your ink pad is dry, you feel like stamping it is too blotchy, spongy ink pads are always juicy. So keep that in mind. They are di different than felt ink pads. Felt ink pads are always sort of dry. So you gotta go in and kind of multiple stamp felt ink pads where these spongy ink pads are always pretty juicy. Okay, I'm going back in with the sea foam, which was my second color. I'm blending along that line between sea foam and sea glass. Sea foam and sea glass were released last summer. And you can already see how this one's kind of smoothing and blending itself out. Okay. And then our last color is Bay Breeze. Bristol paper is a wonderful paper to blend on. If you struggle with blending, Bristol paper gives you an extra few seconds for that ink to sit on top so that you can move it around. So if you struggle with ink blending, start with some Bristol Smooth. And you just take your time and add the layers on. The more layers you add, the darker it's going to get. But this ink really does make it easy to do ink blending. That's our Bay Breeze. 
I'm going to go back in with some sea glass. All right. And then I'll just give that a second, like I said, to dry. And it will even itself out as it dries. The dye ink goes in and it dyes the paper. So it will even itself out. That is so pretty. And we have wintergreen, sea foam, sea glass, and bay breeze. And that's exactly how they are on the color wheel. And that's what's nice about the color wheel. You can look at these and go, I don't know if this is gonna create a really nice ombre, but she's done all the work by putting it in the color wheel for you. So that's, that's what's fun about these inks. You can do, there's so much versatility with them. Let's, um, let's do something simple. Let's stamp these um, dragonflies on here. And I'm just going to go right onto the paper and kind of do this tone on tone look. These are the Flight of the Dragonfly. And I'm just going to use this solid guy right here. I'm going to go in the darkest color, the Bay Breeze. Pretty. Now, one of the things that I struggle with when I'm doing ink blending is having the patience to wait for it to dry so I can do heat embossing. So let me heat set this and then we'll do a little heat embossing and put our sentiment on here. Hi, Connie. All right, I think I'm gonna grab white. See how I do here. Congratulations, Yvonne. That's going to be cool. I would love to work at Lowell's just for the discount. No, 
Now this is a brand, I have not used this sentiment yet, so I'm gonna stamp it off a few times on scrap paper before I stamp with it. Okay. And I'm just gonna put it over here like there. And I'm going to use Wow Opaque White. Hey, yay, my background didn't interfere. If you try to do that with distress inks, forget about it. Because distress inks take forever to dry. And I honestly don't do this enough because I'm impatient. I don't want to wait for that background to dry. Quick that melted so smooth. Uh, Laura Ann, I would say right now it isn't just because that paper is still on back order and it's very hard to get. Um, you can get, um, well, we use 80 or 100 pound for exactly what I'm doing. We use it for hot foiling, we use it for. Um, Stamping on, blending on, stamping, coloring, you know, coloring with a marker or whatever. Um, and I brought these sequins in. These are called Portsmouth Sequin Mix. I'm going to put those in there. But before I do that, let me trim this little guy down. Yeah, blending, foiling, stamping, just no water coloring. Nothing with heavy duty water. I'm going to trim a little bit off here. Perfecto.
These sequins are so thick. I feel like there's two of them stuck together, but they're just thick sequins. You know what? Um, I think I do have Salt Lake City. <sighs> Hold on. I will grab it and see. how fun and easy that was you guys just a little ink blending one stamped image a little heat embossing and some pretty sequins okay so Salt Lake City let me see if I have that there's Salt Lake City Salt Lake City is um, you know what? The whites and the yellows on here would go really well with the apricot. I'm thinking Kyoto has some of that. Oh, no. Here we go. This is what we want for the other one. Let's grab that one. This is Park Avenue. Where's my other card? Yes, that's what we want. We're going to grab a couple of those, just a few. I'm telling you, those inks are just amazing. Another one. These sequins are just really thick sequins. These are not cheapy sequins, you guys. I like the uh, the navy in here. What a nice accent color. That's too big. We'll put some small navy ones over here. Ooh, that is fun. Yeah, those orange iridescent sequins, Park Avenue, go really nice with that ginger. Okay, guys. So just to recap, Catherine Pooler revealed four new ink colors today. These are brand new. They are called the Apothecary Collection. These are the first four of the collection. Four more will come out later this summer. 
Um, so you'll want to download a new ink swatch if you haven't already. They are part of the spa collection. So they are a little more muted, more earth tone, a little bit of a gray undertone to them. And they will be available next week. And if you want to win them, you have an opportunity to win all four ink pads as well as the re-inkers from Catherine Puller by going on my link, downloading the new color wheel, and then coming back here and commenting that you did it, that you downloaded the color wheel, and what your favorite color combination is. So you don't want to comment now. You'll have to wait until the live is done and then comment. And I used some existing products with some of the new inks. And again, swatched out the inks for you guys. And if you're a member of the Foiling Snobs Club, I did a full swatching um, of them on the Foiling Snobs Club Facebook page. So let me remind you again what those colors were and what the swatches look like. So we have Ginger, which is a nice dark orange color. Terracotta, which is almost like a brick color, which I have on the bottom here. We have apricot, which is the only one I didn't play with tonight. And we have the one I just showed you guys, which is wintergreen. So those are the four colors. Here you can see them swatched out with the other colors on their color chart. So we used wintergreen with sea foam, sea glass, and bay breeze. And it just shows you how beautiful these inks blend, how beautiful they stamp, how you can go direct to paper and make your matte paper match. They are water reactive. Oops, we should have done that on this one. Well, I'll do it on here. So if you put some water on them and a little paper towel and dab it up. Now these were swatched earlier today and you can see how they are still water reactive. So you can get those water spots if you like to do that. So great for stamping, great for blending, um, great for background, direct to paper, great for water coloring. If you wanna use the reinkers, if you wanna use a Tombow brush, um, these are also in the CP shop, definitely worth it. You can go right into the ink and color your stamped image. So you can do that and then you just wipe the, um, the nib clean by just on a scrap piece of paper scribbling it out. You can use the smush technique. So there's a lot of different things you can do with these inks. They're dye inks. They go right into your paper and dry almost instantaneously. And there's a wide variety of colors. So that's the wintergreen chart. And then we have what we used over here. I used ginger at the top, terracotta at the bottom. So here you can see ginger, mandarin spice, orange peel, and apricot on the color wheel. This is how they look. So you have ginger here and apricot here. And then the terracotta here with clay mask, polished, and terracotta. And I think these are great skin tone colors as well. If you're somebody who likes to do coloring, um, clay mask, apricot, mix a little ginger in there and you get a, a number of different skin tones if you enjoy doing coloring or stamping. Um, you know, I don't do a lot with coloring people. I suck at it. So um, this is a nice way to add that. All right, guys. So go download the color wheel. I'll put my link on there for you guys again. I want to thank T and Chow for helping me out. But download the color wheel. And then you can go shopping next week. And keep an eye on my channel because I am part of the design team. I'm a brand ambassador for Catherine Pooler. So, of course, I have some new stamps and ideas to go with these. Again, it's called the Apothecary Collection of Inks. Four of them are out next week, and then you'll get four later on in the summer. If you guys had fun hanging out with me, please give me a thumbs up. 
go download, go come back and comment so that way you can win. And again, you have to comment one, I downloaded the color wheel and two, these are my favorite color combinations. And you wanna click my link to get over there. All right. Okay guys, have a good night. Go get your color wheels. Bye.